Alright guys, I'm back for more Final Fantasy XV New Game Plus episode, Arden. Who is he? We can't identify him. He's a skilled combatant. He seems to have been 
enemy and under his control. <laughs> Ah! 
Tragically weak you are. Just like, do or die, it's real tough, bitch. 
<laughs> Can't say you wouldn't try. <laughs> I said the soundtrack of this shit is obnoxious because the backing music right now is awful. It's like this really, really, like, edgy and just really bad fucking loot rock song that's just trying really too hard to be fucking edgy. Hate it. It sounds like in uh, this DLC for Final Fantasy 15. Going up. This is going to hurt. Oh! 
I must say, I expected more from you. I don't know. <laughs> All the amplifiers have been destroyed. The enemy forces have begun their infiltration. I'm going in, as will I. No, Your Majesty. We must get to Just safety at once. I have sworn to safeguard the future of our nation, so I must be on the front lines. As you wish, Your Majesty. For the future of Lucis, together we fight. Yes. 
what's really at stake. It's my turn now, watch me retaliate. <laughs> no one can for the yard of team any bomb but the best cover is the obvious. Well, better luck next time, I suppose. How lucky you are to know the sweet release of death. Just um, warm tone. 
yellow ones, so... Yeah. I can see that. No, not on the house, just on the tree. Oh my! What big walls you have! All the better to look down upon his enslaved subjects from. Time to call in a favor with a lot of people and have him summon my beloved brother. Oh, you should see Main Street. There are. Oh, you should see Main Street and like places. Holy shit. They really go all out. Mainly because there's like stores on that street. Oh, you must be His Majesty. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Why are you here? Um, basically, but also why for you? The royal arms. Who are you? Forest Town. You ought to know, being a man of royal blood it's yourself. A lot of people come to see the uh, Adagium historic places in the yeah. flesh. That's right. Here to bring the bloodline of Lucis to an end. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, I, I, I show this area a lot. On my honor as king, I will vanquish you. Oh, what an awful thing to say to your own flesh and blood.
souls of kings reside within those statues. <laughs> of course, that's only hearsay. Why not summon the wall so we can see for ourselves? <sighs> what I wouldn't give for a chance to speak with the Founder King himself! Come out, Somnus! The longer you wait, the longer he'll <laughs> suffer! <laughs> Uh. Huh? Is he dead? <laughs> oh dear. Perhaps I don't know my own strength. I didn't laugh, I just like or I didn't uh, I didn't sneeze, I didn't laugh. Cause I was like, <laughs> he just killed a guy, and he's just like, oh, is he well, dead? <laughs> Brother, Psalm. Exiled me as a monster and erased me from the world. You were tainted, unfit to sit the throne. Please, brother, return to the darkness whence you came. Now? But I've had him so much time to think I get the pleasure of killing you myself. What's wrong, dear brother? Too afraid to put down your expensive toy and come face me yourself? Let the game always be this is no beginning. Only the end. This is monstrous. How could one so impure possess such power? I was right to have seen you away. You truly are a monster, brother. <laughs> The gods blessed you as their chosen. The people adored you as their savior. I was neither powerful nor popular. Just envious. I understood. 
demons could not be allowed to remain in this world. The sinner could not be allowed to sit the throne! Lies, fairy tales, no. and fallacies! All of it! I did to you was unforgivable, but I did it for the future of our kingdom, of our people. A small sacrifice for the good of society. <clears throat> How noble. Our line has done everything in our power to protect our people, just as the gods bade. I was merely fulfilling my calling. <laughs> and here I thought I was the blessed one, but it was you all along. I dare not ask your forgiveness. I do ask your understanding. What? You took everything from me. Everything! And you ask my understanding?! I pray your soul find repose, brother. Gods deny me my revenge! Because thou hast been chosen to serve a different purpose. <sighs> to spread darkness throughout the world is thy true calling. Darkness? Soon, the true king will be born unto Lucis. He shall lead the people as their beacon of hope, and drive away the darkness. In turn, thou shalt be his sacrifice. The limitless shadow that ushers in the light. Why must I continue to suffer? Have I not already sacrificed enough? The true king awakens, summoning the power of his forebears. He shall, at last, relieve thee of thy suffering. Then, the line of Lucis shall come to an end, and the revenge thou seekest shall finally be found. So it is ordained, and so shall it be. You say, I am not the savior of man, but his sacrificial lamb, and that I live only to die by the hand of the heir to an ill-gotten throne. That is the fate the gods have chosen to bestow upon me! The very same. Defy thy destiny if thou dare. But know that it will grant thee a life of darkness unending, devoid of death's reprieve. What save thee, Adagium?
since I did the first one in the first playthrough, yes. Not once have I begged the gods for such a blessing. And I do not intend to kneel before you now. Thine impudence shall prove thine undoing, foolish mortal. <laughs> oh, I'm no mortal. I'm a monster. The path men tread was never meant for me. Mine is paved with blood and darkness. Pitiful creature. If thou wilt fight against fate, so shall it be. you free me from this curse. Pierce my heart if you must, but you will never kill my resolve. The gods who rule above and the men who reign below shall lend their strength to the King of Kings. Only a fool would defy such opposition. Though mankind may not realize, everything in this world is preordained. Man exists solely by the grace of the gods and cannot live without. Resist if thou must. But know thy struggles are in vain. Arden's actor's breaking accent for some of these lines. <sighs> Nothing matters. None of it. Not the blessed gods above, nor the accursed kings below. To hell with them all. Thank you. 
Okay, that was episode Arden. Um, pretty okay. R.I.P. K.G. Fura. Fura Wara? Yeah. He also voiced uh, Axel in Kingdom Hearts and Reno in Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy 7 Media. But yeah, that was episode Arden. Um, don't know why it took me four parts to do before. I was probably just scouring around for certain, for a lot of different shit all around. I was pretty confused on where to go. But uh, did it in two parts this time. Um, so yeah, it's the last piece of Final Fantasy XV media for a while. I may do a replay through of the main game in the base outfits and everything. Um, but, yeah, from what well, you're usually given, um, but, yeah, um, at some point, maybe next year for the fifth anniversary of the game, but, yeah, uh, may do a playthrough of this game in Japanese as well at some point, but we'll see. It's probably gonna be a while before I even think of doing that, but, yeah, finally got playthroughs of all of the pieces of media that have been released for this game, minus the two festivals, which you can't play anymore on consoles because they were patched out, even though I have them downloaded onto this console. And, yeah, I really wish Square Enix would patch support for those back in, but whatever. So yeah, this has been my playthrough, or replaythrough of this. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Finally have footage of all this shit at 60 frames per second. So, yeah, it's been pretty good. Or it is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll do the outro once this is done. Alright, I just finished that DLC. Or it's, or it's flaws are really easy to ignore. It's just like, nope. This game is not flawless in any sense of the word. It has a lot of problems. But it's, it's, it's okay. It's an okay Final Fantasy. It's not bad. Like, at least I don't think it is. It just has problems in its writing and structure that it could, in the, in the main game, that it could have easily dealt with. But I understand why those um, why those faults are there because the team was rushed. They had to well, they had to get this game out by a certain deadline. But then also they had to actually form a plot around all of the elements that they had. And then they were working with the new engine and just a whole bunch of other shit that led to it not being a great game in terms of writing. And some of the some of the gameplay is not great either, but for the most part it's okay. When I say some of the gameplay is not great, I mean in terms of balancing. Some some shit in this game is way too easy. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Off my chair, Jester. The king sits there. And there we go. I don't like that this game uses the British dating system, but whatever.
yeah, guys, um, that's gonna be it for this one. You ready for more, or for other games I replay in 60 frames, or have in 60 frames that I play for the first time, and then some other games I continue, so, yeah. Link's description to all of my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.